Safe haven assets were hit hard Monday by rallying risk assets, including the euro and world stock markets. And gold was no exception, feeling the heat ending the day lower. Joining us today is Todd Baba Horitz of BabaTrading.com. Welcome back to the show, Baba. Bonjour, Danielle. It's great to be here. Bonjour, indeed. And it was that bonjour uh, hurting gold. Uh, last down, 12.90 an ounce at uh, 12.76 here, Baba. Investors obviously favoring risk here as Macron is now expected to win the presidency. So will it be hard times for gold until the May 7th French election? You know, Danielle, I'm not so sure. I mean, I know that Macron's supposed to win, but if remember, Clinton was supposed to win and there wasn't supposed to be a Brexit. So let's put that aside. There seems to be a lot of underlying strength in the gold market. We had a stock market that did not quit all day long, that continues to rally, yet gold has actually made, it's cut its losses in half and it's only down, as you said, 1290, but it was down much more overnight. I think we're seeing this underlying, underlying bid for gold that is being brought to us by people of fear of the cashless society. A lot of these smaller countries are now eliminating cash altogether. I think that you're gonna see this continued bid for gold and that, that one leg down may not be coming. We might have turned the corner already here. Right, and you know, besides gold, also a uh, bullion mining stocks are feeling the burn here. So let me ask you this, Bob, but do you also think U.S. interest rates now back in focus is, is playing a role here in perhaps hurting gold? Uh, you know, I think that gold w went down in the initial shock. Don't forget, we've had a very nice rally in gold and we've been able to hold on here. I don't know that the interest rates are bothering it. Remember, the dollar is coming lower with the euro, euro railing, so that kind of the, goes in the face of the interest rate market. I, I think overall that gold has had a little bit of a sell of it. Tried to get to 1300 the last couple of days and it could not, so I think it sold off a little bit. But I think 1270 is probably an area you might want to take a look and look at it again, because when we look at the bigger picture again, it should have gone lower today it did not so if it's not going lower it means that there's still buyers underneath the market that will likely come back and push it back up again and try to test that 1300 one more and, time and that's a good point baba do you think there's a disconnect right now between gold and the u.s dollar uh yeah i do think so i, I think there's i think that the u.s dollar is disconnected from everything because i think what happened daniela is before the last rate hike the dollar was for so much higher that now it's just full of sellers. And it looks like the dollar actually wants to come down into the mid 90s, which wouldn't make sense, of course, except that they over rallied it to begin with. It was, it was overvalued when it got up there. So now I think it'll get, when it gets down to the mid 90s, it'll be more back in focus and in line with every other product. All right, let's take a quick look here at silver. Um, you know, also getting a hit here post election, falling to last levels last seen in late March at 1755. Uh, you generally like silver. Uh, what are you doing with it now? I love silver. I'm still, I'm still buying silver. You know, we've seen the gold ratio really expand over silver once again. So I'm a, I'm a buyer of silver at, at every opportunity. Anytime they bring it down, I'm going to buy some, looking to bring it back up again. I, I think it continues to work its way higher. Yeah, there'll be some pits and, and fall, valleys here, but I think overall silver looks to be good. Gold looks to be good. And the miners had sold off before we got here. So now let's see where they go from here. I feel your love for silver, Baba. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Danielle. Have a great day. And don't forget to catch our Minds and Money coverage live from New York. Starting next week, we'll have interviews and exclusive panels, including Baba, live streamed to you from the event, so be sure to stay tuned.